what the Chinese view of the Trans-Pacific Partnership is? Have you had any information I've, from China? Yes, well, I, I spent the last couple of months in China, actually, and I took the opportunity to talk to people about uh, relations with Australia, relations with the United States, and I think it's fair to say that uh, Chinese policymakers and Chinese people generally, I think, this is a bit of a generalisation, but, but I think you can make a case for saying that Chinese people generally are very concerned about relations with the United States. They see, rightly enough, that this is the most important and powerful country in the world and that their future and their uh, economic and their strategic relationships generally are going to be shaped by what goes on with the United States. So they're very concerned about it generally. So the fact that this negotiation has assumed an increasingly high profile in the region and the fact that some American defense officials and others have talked up its geopolitical significance as well, uh, I think it's assumed uh, a greater prominence in China. And they're not uh, happy about the way that it's unfolded. And that kind of general unhappiness, I think, has been reinforced because there was also the Chinese initiative of the Asia Infrastructure Investment Bank, which the United States tried to get key allies like uh, Australia and Britain to not join because they saw it as undermining their influence and leadership in the region, which I think to some extent is probably true. However, I think it's also telling that uh, countries like uh, Australia and Britain in particular were very enthusiastic about joining eventually. There's a more complex debate in Australia, but in Britain's case, they were one of the first countries to sign up because Britain recognised that their... Uh, relationship with China is almost entirely based on these days its economic relationship so they cannot afford to jeopardize that relationship that's the thinking in Britain at least and I think eventually Australian policymakers after some uh, heated debates I think between economic ministers and strategic ministers they gradually came round to the same kind of view but it was in Australia's kind of national interest that they should also sign up to become uh, members of the AIIB. So uh, I, I think it's a really telling indication of, on the one hand, that maybe America's power is not uh, as uh, emphatic as it once was, and also that China is everybody's biggest trade partner these days, and that's just an economic reality, I think. Professor, thank you for joining the AIIA. You're welcome. You're welcome.